Assume that a population of fish in a lake satisfies the differential equation dxdt equals kx times the quantity m minus x. This differential equation models logarithmic growth where k is a constant and m is the carrying capacity or limiting population. It's also important to notice this is an autonomous differential equation, meaning it fits the form of dxdt equals f of x, where dxdt is equal to only a function of the dependent variable x. Again, in our differential equation, remember k and m are constants. Now suppose that fish are continually added at a fish per unit of time. For part a, find the differential equation for x. Well, dxdt represents the change in the population per unit of time, and therefore, if fish are continually added at a fish per unit of time, dx dt is now equal to kx times the quantity m minus x plus a. For part b, to determine the new limiting population, because it will no longer be m, we need to find the equilibrium solution by setting dx dt equal to zero and solving for x, which gives us the equation zero equals, let's go ahead and distribute the kx, which gives us k mx minus kx squared plus a. And now we need to solve for x. We'll have to use the quadratic formula. Let's write the terms on the right and descending order. And we often prefer the coefficient of x squared to be positive. Let's also multiply both sides by negative one. This gives us zero equals positive kx squared minus kmx minus a. And now we apply the quadratic formula where a, the coefficient of x squared, is equal to k, b, the coefficient of x is equal to negative km, and c, the constant, is equal to negative a. So applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b is negative negative km, and then plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is the square root of negative km, minus four times a, which is k, times c, which is negative a. All this is divided by two times a, which in our case is two k. And now let's begin simplifying. We have x equals km plus or minus the square root of k squared m squared, and then plus 4ka. And all this is divided by 2k. Now we're almost there, but we need to analyze this because there's only one solution. The square root of k squared m squared plus 4ka is more than km, since the square root of k squared m squared would be km, which means km minus the square root of the sum of k squared m squared and 4ka would be negative which is not possible, and therefore the limiting population is only the solution with the sum. The limiting population is x equals km plus the square root of the sum of k squared m squared and 4ka all divided by 2k. I hope you found this helpful.